student here at Lakeland College. Uh, I'm in business program. Uh, I'm currently in uh, accounting major. Uh, this is my second year now. Uh, and I just want to say that I'm thrilled to be here. And uh, for everyone that are looking to attend at Lakeland College uh, in, the in the near future. Um, so this session is an opportunity for everyone to meet uh, two of our amazing instructors here at Lakeland, uh, Aaron and Angela. Uh, so yeah, so if you guys have any questions, uh, you can use the chat function uh, and send your questions in. Uh, and we will be mo monitoring it. And at the end, uh, we will give uh, a time uh, to our instructors to answer those uh, questions. And uh, yeah, so let's start. Uh, Aaron and Angela, if you could uh, start introducing yourself uh, and maybe kind of talk about, you know, a little about your, uh, just a little about yourself. All right, so I, I guess I'll start first. So hi and welcome to our session. I am Angela Manish. I'll just give you a little background, I guess, uh, on myself. I'm a true Lloydminsterite, so I was born and raised in Lloydminster. I grew up a few blocks into Saskatchewan. I only left for a very short period to go to the University of Saskatchewan for my undergrad and for graduate studies. And I came back and moved a few blocks into Alberta. So <laughs> I've been back, I've been living here, I've been working at Lakeland College for 14 years. I have been loving every single minute of it. I guess uh, for courses, I teach mostly first year courses, and then I have some second year marketing and HR courses. For my educational philosophy, it's the skills we learn and practice today will influence the way that we think and work tomorrow. But, you know, that's kind of enough about me for right now. Uh, here's a little bit of information. I'm going to get Brandy to show you guys a really sweet swag bag, and it's got some cool prizes in it. And I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to win this prize. So let's take a peek over here with Brandy. Hi, guys. I'm Brandy Mendez. I am the academic advisor, and I just want to show you this swag bag that Angela is talking about. There's a, like a little bag here. That might have a few kind of neat little prizes in it, depending on what, what it might be. I, let's see what else I got in here. Maybe let's see a little bit of the Lakeland stuff in there. Gonna kind of keep it. We've got some pretty neat little things in here that is available. So I just want to give you that heads up. <laughs> All right, thanks, Brandy, for that. So the way you can win the sweet swag bag is it's going to be the first person who types in the correct answer on our chat. Okay, so hopefully everyone can side, get your fingers ready. The really tough question for you guys this morning is who or what is Lakeland College's mascot? Who or what Ooh. is our official mascot? Type it in. <laughs> So the first person to type it in and the type a new message will win. And you can't do it, Aaron or Drew. You're eliminated out of the competition. Oh, there's a bunch of answers popping in. I can't see because all the answers are there. Oh, Brendan got it. All right. Uh, it looks like, yes, I'd say Brianna Rogers, our guest, Rowdy, our mascot is Rowdy, and he is he is a rowdy individual, and he's a lot of fun. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to type in, uh, Brianna, my email address, and if you can email me your contact information, your physical mailing address, we'll send that out to you. Or if you're from Lloyd Minster, you could come to the campus and pick it up. Either option will work for us. You just let us know what works best for you. And while we've mentioned Rowdy here, Brandy's gonna load up a quick little video of Rowdy. If you've never seen him in action before, he wanted to pop by and say hello today. So stay tuned here.
So we have a lot of fun on campus. We have a lot of fun with Rowdy. He just wanted to pop in and say hello, and he'll be around popping in and out of these virtual sessions. He is our official mascot. So what we'll get uh, Brianna to do, I've just posted my email address in there. So if you want to email me your physical mailing address or how you would like to get your swag bag, just let us know and we'll get that out to you. All right, so just a, a little fun game to kind of get you going, start thinking about things. Um, I don't know, it's just kind of a, a little fun session to get to know about us uh, as individuals, as instructors. I guess some fun facts for me. Uh, I like to stay busy. I like to do a lot of really fun things. So I've been caving underground. So I did a, a half a day session going underground in the caves in Canmore. And I love that. I've done some surfing before. And as we keep going up the elevation, I've also done yoga on the Great Wall of China. So that's kind of fun. Uh, I like to travel a lot. So in Jamaica, I had the opportunity to hold a 500 pound uh, nursing shark. So I thought, well, who doesn't want to do this? So went there and held a shark. And yeah, had a lot of really good times and have gone to a, quite a few different countries. Like to make sure that we bring a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of different experiences, and a lot of backgrounds to our classroom. So I've, I've really been enjoying all the diversity we get with our students, with both our domestic students and our international students. So that's just a little bit about me and some fun backgrounds and facts. I will talk a little bit to you guys about the general business major, but I'd like to hear what Aaron has to say. So let's get to know Aaron a little bit here. So please, Aaron. Let's hear about you. Thanks, Angela. <laughs> so hi, my name is Erin Vandola, and I am also in the business department, and I've been with the college for five years now. This is my fifth year. Um, three of those years have been teaching in the business program, and two of those years I had the opportunity to work as the director of finance for Lakeland College on our Vermilion campus. So really cool. Um, opportunity to um, work in administration for the college, but I came back to teaching because I miss the students and I love teaching so much. Um, so I worked mostly in, but prior to working at Lakeland College, I worked in the oil and gas industry. I worked there for uh, 10, or sorry, 15 years in various accounting roles. So I was a cost analyst, I was an internal auditor, I was a financial analyst, um, I was also a corporate controller. So I had various accounting roles in the oil and gas industry. Um, the courses that I teach are, I, for first year courses, I teach business mathematics and I also teach accounting one and accounting two. Um, business mathematics is a required course in our first year, so um, there's a good chance that you'll have me um, in your first year either for accounting or for math. Um, I, for second year courses, I teach intermediate accounting and I also teach management accounting. And then if you choose to stay um, on with us after, two, after getting your diploma, you may see me in a third year accounting course that I teach, which is called advanced financial accounting. Um, you may see that I teach mostly accounting courses. It goes well with my background in accounting and I really truly have a passion for accounting as maybe Drew, um, who I teach a few classes to, may be able to share with you. So to get to know me, I want to try a little activity that we call two truths and a lie. So I am going to post three things. I'll post them in the comments here now. I'll also say them out loud, but I'm going to see if, oh, if I can get those in the comments and then I'll talk to them. Can you all see them there in the comments? So how this game works is I've told these are three things. I spent eight years in school after I graduated high school. I lived in China for six months. And number three, I've been to Hawaii five times. So those are three things. And one yeah, of them is a lie. What are you doing? Don't touch my so I would like you to guess which one of those things is a lie about me. I know you know nothing about me really, but um, they're gonna be, I'm gonna use them as talking points um, to share a little bit more about myself and also to give you some advice as you start your journey of post-secondary education. So I'll give you a couple minutes to guess which one you think is a lie. Two of them are true, one of them is a lie. Which one is a lie? 
Thanks, Angela. Two is a lie. So living in China, number three, I've been to Hawaii five times. Number three is a lie. Number three is a lie. Well, I think that about does it for most of our guests um, response. So thank you for participating. Number one, this is awesome when we actually have engagement like this in an online session. So thank you. I know we'd like the Hawaii, like we'd all love to be in Hawaii right now, especially with the cold weather and the snow. COVID, unfortunately, you know, has put a, a, a kink in some travel plans, but you are, the majority of you are right. Number three is incorrect about me, but you know, I've never actually been to Hawaii, but it is a dream and a goal that I have. And actually we were supposed to go this February, but due to COVID, our plans have changed. Um, but someday, someday I will get to Hawaii. So I want to use these um, as an opportunity to share a little bit more about myself. So Yes, I did um, spend eight additional, uh, the equivalent of eight years in education after high school. So I spent four years doing my Bachelor of Commerce at U of A. And then after graduating, I, I went and entered the workforce. And while I was working, I had the opportunity to have my employer pay for me to do um, my master's degree. So I got my master's in business administration through Queens and I did that while working, which was great. So I could still earn some money and I pursued my master's um, in business administration. And then later on in my, you know, after working for about 10 years, I had been always working in accounting, um, but never had the, the accounting designation to go with it. And I thought, you know what, I need to get that accounting designation. So I, um, also, while working, I was able to have my employer pay for me to get my CPA, which is the, um, the Canadian and internationally recognized accounting designation available in Canada. So how I want to link that to you is I'm excited that you are all considering and pursuing post-secondary edu um, post education. I think what is so important about education, especially in the um, economic environment that we are in right now, is that education differentiates us. It allows us, you know, if all, else, all other things are equal, you know, same work experience and attitude and all of those things are the same, education gives us a leg up. It gives us an opportunity to differentiate ourselves from maybe the other people we're competing against when we're um, looking for, for jobs. The other thing is, is education gives us choice. And this is really, um, you know, I've been working after my undergrad degree, I've been working for 15 plus years. And what I've really realized and noticed in my career is that those people who have the education to go along with their work experience, have more choice, meaning that they have the opportunity to pursue other interests um, when they're in an organization. But, you know, most importantly is that if you're unhappy with um, your organization or your role, if you have education, you have more opportunity to look for other work, where if you have no education, but you've just worked your way up and you have the work experience, sometimes people get into a position where they're scared to look for other work because they're going to be competing against people who have the educational background to support their experience. So, you know, it allows us to be happier people when we have choice. And I just think that it's awesome that you are all here today and considering and pursuing post-secondary edu post education because it'll differentiate you and it will give you choice as you move forward in your life. So the other point about living in China for six months. So I also got to go to the Great Wall of China, Angela. I didn't, however, do yoga on the Great Wall of China, but maybe I'll add that to my list for what I'm gonna do next time I go. Um, but living in China for six months, I, it, you know, it, it speaks to kind of my personality and about how I'm a, I love to pursue and try new things. Um, you know, and I would, I would sh share that that is something that you should consider doing in your own educational experience in your life, because when you get yourself out of your comfort zone, when you try new things, um, you really, that's an opportunity for us to grow and to become better versions of ourselves. Um, and as you 
if you join us at Lakeland, which I really hope you do, we have lots of opportunities um, and for things you can get involved in, like Speaker's Corner, where yes, it's uncomfortable and it might be a little scary to go in public speak in front of people, but if you, you know, the more comfortable you get with it, the better you're going to be and the less scary it is. So, you know, just in life, let's try and do things that will challenge us and get us in, out of our comfort zone. And, um, you know, that's something I think we can carry through in many aspects of our life. The last um, point about going to Hawaii, um, although I am, haven't been to Hawaii and I'm not going to get to go to Hawaii this February, it is important to have dreams and goals and know what things we want in our life. And even if it isn't specific, like I want to be an accountant working for a uh, bank um, by the time I'm 28, you know what I mean? Even if it's not specific, but you know you want to pursue education and you know you want, you know, even if it's very broad kind of things, by having broad understanding of what we want, we can, you know, even consciously or subconsciously make decisions that will get us stepping in the right direction. And so you considering Lakeland is, you know, is one step in the direction of what you want to achieve in your life. So it's important to have a clear understanding of where you're going so the steps are more clear. So what I want to do is a little exercise with you guys to help kind of bring this point home. So I'm going to give you a minute and I would like you all to get a piece of paper and a pen. And even the other people who aren't guests here today, the, the business department staff, I want you to get a piece of paper and a pen and I want you to do this activity with me. Everybody get a piece of paper and a pen, please and thank you. Once you are ready, put yes in the chat box so that I know you're ready to roll. Awesome. Look at all those yeses. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to give you some instructions and I want you to draw what it is that I'm telling you to draw. Okay, so here we go. You can't ask any further questions. I'll try and go slow. No repeating. I'm just going to tell you, I'm going to give you a second to do it and then I'm going to move to the next instruction. You ready? Okay. Draw an oval shape. Draw a small circle near the top of the oval, touching the oval. Draw a small circle near the top, touching the oval shape. Draw a dot inside the circle you have just drawn. Draw three straight lines inside the oval shape. I'm excited to see what you guys are drawing. Draw a triangle with its base touching the smaller circle. Draw two longer lines at the bottom of the oval shape. <laughs> now lastly draw three short lines touching each one of the longer lines <laughs> draw three short lines touching each one of the longer lines okay so this is the part where you guys get to share your beautiful creations with us so if you would be so bold as to Turn off your camera or turn on your camera and show us. You can just, you don't even have to show us your face if you don't want. Just show us your picture in the camera so we can all see the lovely creations that you have drawn. Okay, uh huh. Interesting. I can't quite see yours, Cassandra. I see yours, B. I'm not sure who BFC is, but BFC, I love it. You're almost spot, you're, you did good. Okay. Okay, don't, ha I'm so, but maybe you can tell us in the comments if you were at all close. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> Brad, you're not very good at listening to instructions. <laughs> I can't see yours, Cassandra. 
Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you guys, seriously, do you not know how to listen to instructions? <laughs> this is what, are you ready? You're, it looks like a bird, Haley. That's exactly what it's supposed to look like. Can you guys see my chicken? <laughs> So that is what we were supposed to draw. So do you think if I had told you at the beginning that we were going to draw a chicken and then I told you the instructions, you might be able to have better achieved the goal of drawing a chicken? Yeah. Well, that was the point of that activity was that if you have an idea of where you're going, you can take steps that get you there in a more, you know, get you there because, you know, Brad did not draw a chicken. I'm not sure what that was, but... <laughs> Mine's ab abstract art. <laughs> there you go. So um, anyways, I hope that was fun for you, as fun for you as it was for me to torture you a little bit. But that's what kind of thing you can expect at Lakeland College, is a little bit of fun and a little bit of torture. <laughs> um, so anyways, going back to that point of, you know, you guys are taking that first step in the direction of your long-term goals and, and good for you. So just to wrap up my little part, I feel like I've taken a lot of time to wrap up this little part. What I love about Lakeland is we have lots of opportunities to get involved. And what I also love is the small class sizes. You have an opportunity to really connect and get to know your instructors. Um, and just to share a story of how that connection works. Is, so I've only been teaching or working here at Lakeland for five years. And I have students who have graduated and gone on. And they still reach out to me because we've developed real connections. They still reach out to me. They want advice on their career. They're, you know, happy to share about their life experiences or getting engaged. They're having babies and they share that information with me because we've become part of each other's lives. The other thing is, is that I have, I have alumni that are now in the position of hiring and they want to know who I would recommend. Do I have students in my class that would want to work for them? Um, and so those connections are real at Lakeland. And I went to U of A, which was an awesome school, but I never, like, I don't even know any of my teachers' names. And part of that is my responsibility, but I feel like in a smaller class size, a smaller college, you really get to know the people who are helping you um, on your journey. Um, the other thing is, is that I am also mentoring two of my past graduates um, in they're pursuing their CPA or accounting designation right now. And I'm actually their mentor. You have to have an assigned mentor and I'm their mentor. So I get to be involved in helping them pursue their accounting designation as well and get to be involved in their life even after they leave here, which I think is so cool. Well, I think that's it. Thanks for listening to me and joining in on my, um, my crazy activity. I'll turn it back to Giroux as we uh, continue on with our discussion. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Angela and Erin. Um, yeah, if you guys could maybe um, talk about just uh, just really quickly uh, about accounting program. I know you kind of covered a little bit. Uh, also the general business. So that way um, the people that are looking, in, um, looking to get into college, uh, into Lakeland College can get an insight of what it looks like for them. Uh, and maybe for the people that are looking, uh, attending Lakeland College, uh, maybe if you guys uh, don't mind sharing, uh, if you are interested going into accounting or in general business, uh, you know, send that in our in the chat box. Uh, so that way uh, we can we can see. Uh, yeah. All right, thanks, Drew. So I'll give you a little bit of information if you're interested in going into the general business major it's it's really great if you're interested in business but you're not sure exactly which major you want to go into the general major is for you so it's going to cover all your fundamentals your basic skills and it's going to cover a broad range of business skills that's what you can do in the business general major now it's going to be a two-year business administration diploma it's going to build on industry relationships. You can take part on different activities like the co-op internship. You're gonna get the basic fundamental skills in the first year. And the thing that I think students really enjoy about the general business program is you can basically tailor it to whatever you want for your educational needs because we allow you to take so many electives. In fact, in your first year, you can take two electives. And then in your second year, you actually get to choose eight electives. So it's, it's really a tailor-made program specifically for you. So if you go into the first year and you decide you have a keen interest in marketing and you've really enjoyed your first year marketing course, 
you can add additional marketing courses to your second year. So a few courses that I teach in marketing, consumer behavior, public relations, it's really nice. Uh, we take a look at some really fun stuff in terms of, you know, our rowdy video. We are new to TikTok, so we started to track and we're taking a look at our videos and we watch the videos that go live and the videos that go viral for Lakeland. So that's something that we do in our marketing courses. Now, as I mentioned, we are new to TikTok and a lot of students are now starting to utilize TikTok. So feel free to watch our videos there and you can stay posted as to what we're doing. That's just one of the many platforms that we're using. All right, so you guys can choose. Maybe you have a, a keen interest. Maybe you really enjoyed your classes, your first year accounting courses. You might choose an accounting course and get to spend a little bit more time with Aaron. And that's, that's totally up to you guys in terms of the electives that you're choosing. Now, as Aaron mentioned, there's a ton of different ways for our students to get involved. So she already talked about Speaker's Corner. I mentioned that we do have a cooperative education program that we typically run uh, outside of the pandemic, of course. You can also get involved in activities like our award-winning Alberta Deans of Business College case competition. It's a mouthful to say. Uh, Brad, who's our Dean, who's joined us today, he actually ran our case competition for a number of years as well. So he might have some feedback for you on that. Uh, fantastic learning experience. And maybe if you're interested in cases and you enjoy case studies, you might choose one of your electives as a case study course. One of the events that I really look forward to every year and enjoy and students are encouraged to join in as well, the Chamber of Commerce joins up and partners with our business department in February. And this really gets students out of their comfort zone because we practice our soft skills. So not only are the theoretical skills we learn in the classroom really important, but same with our soft skills, our interpersonal skills, our business communication, our handshake techniques, and getting to know industry leaders within Waymonster and the surrounding area. And I'm, I'm particularly passionate about this because I've been involved in the chamber for over six years in a number of capacities. So I was the president of the Chamber of Commerce when we had 560 different businesses involved with the chamber. I've been on the board of directors for a few years. I've just recently stepped off of the board of directors because I just had my second uh, young, beautiful daughter and both my girls are keeping me pretty busy right now, but I'm still involved with the chamber on their relations committee, member relations committee. So I think this is a, a really great opportunity for you guys as well. You get to know your instructors really well. We have a lot of good industry contacts and a lot of good leads. And personally, last time I was involved two years ago, just before my maternity leave, I had a bank manager approach me the next day after our chamber mixer with our business students. And he asked if I could get one of our students that he was really impressed with get in touch with her if it was okay, because he wanted to set up an interview with her. Because he said, here's a great student. She made a really good first impression. I got to meet her and I want to interview her for a job. So that is the very definition of success is if we can get our students and they come to the school, we can teach them the technical skills. We can get them into contact with industry experts or people that are hiring in the areas that they're interested in and employability that's that's the end game here we want to get you guys to be hired into jobs and careers that you love and that you find value in personally and you have a nice organizational fit with those companies all right so the chamber annual connect is something fun that we do and then another thing that we've added recently to also assist our students to create some hands-on skills is managing and marketing the Leminster District Co-op Business Club concession, which is our student-led concession management board for our wrestlers athletics. So there's another opportunity that you can be involved in. There's so many opportunities for our students at Lakeland. And this is for our general business students, as well as any student in the business program. But as a general business student, you can get involved in all of these different activities. Okay, so if we're talking about 
where you can go after you get a business administration diploma. And if you have a general major, the possibilities are endless because we need business people in every type of organization, whether it's small, medium, or large size, if it's for-profit, not-for-profit, we need business people. Uh, we've had students come through our program and they've worked at other post-secondary institutions. We actually have a current student that we had in the past, actually two previous students that we've taught and they're working in the business department with us. So they've kind of gone through the full stages from being business students to getting really good experience. They've got their education and now they're working for us at Lakeland. We have students involved in telecommunications companies. We have students who have been hired into the Chamber of Commerce in marketing positions. We have a lot of students in agriculture, in financial institutions, in different industries like oil and gas and mining, uh, even forestry in terms of the general majors. Now just some, some really quick fun facts for you here. I think you know stats really kind of summarize information very quickly. And if we're looking from our students, from our past student surveys that we've done with our graduates, 96% of students are satisfied with the content provided and met the program goals and objectives in the general major. And 96% of students are confident that they have the knowledge and skills to gain or maintain employment in their area of study. So this, these are really good stats. As a student, I'm sure you would enjoy or you'd be very happy or satisfied with a grade in the 90s. So for our general business major, based on our student statistics, this is from our statistics in 2016, employment surveys and from the students about to graduate, they're very happy with this program and the information that we provide. And they feel that they're able to utilize these skills to be successful in their business careers going forward. So I, I just, I have so many good things to say. Majority of our students, the largest proportion of students in business are from the general major. Okay, so if you're, if you're not sure you wanna kind of dabble in business and you're not sure which area to go into, you can always start in the general and then you can move into different areas for majors or you can graduate as a general major. And that's absolutely fine too. So just a, a little bit of quick information here. I don't wanna take up too much time. I'd like to hear from Aaron. So I know there might be some of you guys that are interested in the accounting major. So Aaron, let's hear a little bit more about the accounting major. Thanks Angela and well said. You, you know, provided some very useful information for anybody considering a business diploma at Lakeland College. So I'm going to speak to the accounting major and um, because that's what I teach most of my courses in is the accounting major. So if you already know you like accounting or if you don't know you like accounting and you start out in the general major and figure out that you like accounting or are great at accounting, you may choose the accounting major um, here at Lakeland College. And I just want to speak to accounting and why I think this major is so great is that um, so most of your courses in your second year will be um, more accounting focus. So you'll take more accounting than you would in the general um, diploma. Um, but every job has some aspect of accounting. Um, most jobs in business, I should say, have some aspect of accounting, whether it is helping prepare a budget, whether it is decision making and using financial data to help you make decisions. Everyone really needs an understanding of accounting. Um, you know what's also great about the accounting major is it's set up so that if you decide you want to get your your accounting designation your cpa all those courses go directly we've mapped we're um, in alignment with what cpa wants us to be teaching so you will already have two years towards your accounting degree and you can finish your accounting degree if you want with u of s we have an agreement and also with athabasca and then once you're done your degree you can pursue your cpa for another two years um, but the accounting major um, is also you get to spend more time with me and um, because I teach most of those second year accounting courses. The other thing, if, um, you're, if you're in the accounting major, we offer an opportunity for those students to, we offer those students an opportunity to partake in income tax clinics. So every spring um, we, 
we prepare, we train our students first, we do some training with them, and then we give our students an opportunity to prepare tax returns for other students, for low-income families, and for seniors. It's a great opportunity for our students to get out in the community and provide a service that is required every year it's you know death and taxes are those two things that we can always you know expect to be happening at some point and so um, it gives students an opportunity to put their accounting skills to practice by preparing income tax uh, returns for um, students seniors and other low-income families and don't be don't be worried we um, have designated accountants that review all of the tax returns before they get submitted so it's a no risk situation for the students just great opportunity for them to learn and apply their um, their learning that's really all I have to say about the accounting major is you know it's it, it's it's a great opportunity to get um, the fundamental accounting um, education that you need and it is really even if you don't at the end of the day end up in an accounting role like an accounts payable or accounts receivable or working at a bank or being a bookkeeper that diploma an accounting diploma will give you um, you know it gives you the skill sets that you need to work in any business role Jeru is in the accounting major and I'm wondering if he has any comments that he might like to share about why he chose the accounting major. Hi Erin, uh, sure I can share a little bit. Um, yeah, um, for me I guess uh, I actually originally uh, went in, uh, I was in Lakeland College back in 2015. Um, I wanted to pursue chemical engineering at that time. And uh, I, you know, cause I wasn't really sure what I wanted to go into. Um, but then after the first semester, I was like, you know what? I don't really know what I'm doing. And so I took, uh, you know, two, three years off. Uh, I just worked for a financial institution. Um, and yeah, and basically back in 2019 last year, uh, I decided to go back in accounting, uh, just working with uh, in financial state, uh, in financial institution uh, that kind of opened up the door for me to really understand all the financial statements a little bit. And I got interested in it. And back then in high school, I took accounting classes in high school. So I did love accounting back then. Uh, and then I was like, you know what? I think I should pick up accounting uh, again. So yeah, and then just moving forward, I, I just really wanted to to pursue uh, the accounting program and also maybe someday I could open up my own firm. Uh, that's kind of one of my dream is to be able to open up my own firm and, and be able to give back in the community uh, in, in the way that I want to give back. Um, so yeah, uh, that's just kind of where I'm at right now. and. Uh, Anywho, <laughs> um, I just want to open it up uh, maybe for a minute or two here. If you guys have any questions uh, with our instructors. Um, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyways, we, you know, uh, if you guys have any questions with our instructors right now, uh, we can open it up uh, for anyone. Uh, you can send it in our chat box right now, or uh, you can unmute yourself if, you're, if you feel comfortable uh, unmuting yourself. Um, I think someone is typing a question. Um, Aaron and Angela, uh, I'm not sure if this is something that you would be able to answer. I, I don't know uh, if you know any services because I don't know anything. In that regard. Please feel free for anyone to jump in, but I just want to say another great thing about Lakeland College is that we have such awesome accommodations. We have a whole team in our learning commons that can help figure out what we as instructors can do to better help um, people with disabilities um, and also extra services for, you know, um, extra time to write your exam, um, somebody to be a reader for you to write your exam. There's so many accommodations and when you get to Lakeland College, we could get you set up with somebody in the Learning Commons right away that will help to guide us as instructors and help to support you in the best way um, that we can.
Yes, I just want to say thank you for that question. And I think Erin did answer that very well. As she mentioned, we have uh, an entire department that works at accommodations. And essentially they'll go through and they'll discuss it individually and set individual study plans and action plans to accommodate, to ensure that we can help our students to be as successful as possible in every one of their courses. So that's that's a you know wonderful thing. And I, I really like the comment that Erin made in terms of, you know, she went to the University of Alberta, I went to the University of Saskatchewan, and they're fantastic institutions. But the fact of the matter is, classes in first and second year were 300 to 400 people. We have a lot smaller class sizes, so we can assist students a lot more. We can help them with study action plans individually. And as a business department as a whole, we also have, uh, we offer some mentoring and assistance for students too. So we can help students in terms of more individualized plans and looking more specifically at the student versus um, just the large class sizes. Okay, so that, that's no problem. If you're concerned about that, absolutely no problem. Um, yeah, thanks, Erin and Angela. Um, I just kind of want to add on that, though, to um, another thing is the Lakeland offers is peer tutor. Um, and I, I've actually my first year, I've tutored students um, and it's free. Uh, there's, a, I think, a minimum hours uh, that students can use it for like you basically have a free free eight hours per course, I think, or I can't remember, but any anyhow, um, you basically have a peer tutor that you can hire. Uh, that's basically another student that could actually teach you uh, if you have any you know pr uh, problems or any um, struggles with specific classes. Uh, you can hire a peer tutor uh, to um, yeah to kind of tutor you in that courses. Uh, yeah, and then there's another questions. Um, maybe Erin and Angela can uh, answer that again. Thank you for the questions, everyone. All right, so I, I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, uh, Shade. So it says, what do the assignments look like for general business? How many assignments per week? That's a tough question to ask uh, and to answer because it, it kind of depends on which courses that you're taking. So it depends on your instructor. We do try to make it manageable for our students. Uh, I can give you a few different examples for courses I'm teaching. So right now I'm teaching a marketing research course and we have three different exams throughout the semester. And then I have four assignments. I let the students choose what they wanna do. So the first two assignments are optional. If you wanna do it individual, you can. If you wanna go in groups up to three students, that's fine. So we have four assignments in total and the last two assignments are group assignments. So that's what just that one course looks like. And then I have other courses that I'm teaching. So an organizational behavior course, basically they have 10 tiny little post quizzes that are worth like less than 1% because I want to get students used to reading the material and practicing covering the content. I just want to make sure that my students are being engaged in the courses. So 10 tiny small little quizzes. And then we have three major exams and then we have three assignments. The instructors do work really hard together and we communicate when major exams are taking place and we try to spread those out for the students to accommodate them as best as possible to ensure that they have enough time to study. So it, it really depends on your instructor, the types of assessments that they're giving and which particular course you're taking. But we, we do try very hard to ensure students success by spreading out our exams and spreading out our assignments as much as possible. Thank you for the question. I would echo what Angela said that it does depend on your course load. For example, I teach in first year business math, which has, we actually have five exams and they're all chapter exams. And the reason we do that, so they're worth smaller percent, but the content is a lot less. It's also supplemented with three assignments. So there are, it is feel like every couple of weeks you're writing a math exam, but it's intended for student success because we based on past experience have realized that by chunking the information out in smaller chunks, students are more successful. Um, and it ensures that students are on top of the material as we progress through the course. Um, same with accounting too, which is a first year accounting course that I teach. Um, that course has 
has four exams and three assignments. So, you know, again, it does, it, but it also, the, the design of the assignments and exams are intended for student success, but we are conscious and aware that you um, do have other courses and other assignments and exams and try our best to balance that. Um, Paige's question here about the software system. So, in accounting, there is one course where we use accounting software, and that software is called Simply Accounting. And um, one of our other instructors, Rob, teaches that course. Um, the accounting courses that I teach, the reason that we don't use a specific software is because that depending on the organization you work at, you are going to, there's hundreds of different accounting softwares out there. So what we, the reason we don't pick one is that we want you to understand the accounting concepts, debits and credits, um, the financial statement preparation, all of those good things without the use of the tool because if you fundamentally understand those things without the software when it gets to any software that you might be working in you already have the skills and understanding to be able to apply that to any software that you might encounter Yeah, thank you. Uh, yes, really, really great questions, uh, everyone. And uh, I, yeah, no, there is a lot of software. I actually took Simply Sage Accounting last year already. Um, it it was it was definitely a different uh, software. <laughs> I've never really used it before, uh, but it's really cool that you can use a software to like just basically do everything for you. Uh, so it was really cool, cool class. For sure. And another thing, I guess, right now for the second year, we actually utilize Excel uh, often with Erin. Um, but I know she mentioned a lot of software that the company use when you actually go out for your when when you work for a company. Um, but I think Excel is probably one of the um, software that is used in accounting uh, throughout everywhere. Like it's like a basic uh, software uh, for everyone, uh, I think. Um, but anyways, uh, do you guys have any? Any questions? Um, great questions, everyone. Uh, this is very, uh, really, really cool because uh, we actually really, really get like good questions from from the prospective students. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited. I, I'm always excited to talk to um, pers prospective students that are coming into Lakeland, uh, and I just love sharing my experience. Uh, if you guys want to connect with me as well, uh, you can reach out to me as well. Uh, in, I guess I'll be I'll be around in the open house, so you guys can ask me questions uh, later on. Uh, there is an open uh, for the student services. I'll be there, kind of talking my experience about Lakeland College around two thirty to three thirty. Join that session as well. Uh, I'll be there, kind of talking about my experiences at Lakeland College. Just as a heads up, uh, we also starting in the next couple minutes here, we have the business uh, student opportunities panel where you get to meet some of our current and past students, including Drew, because he'll jump in with me in the next few minutes. And you'll be able to learn about some of their experiences outside the classroom. Yes, yeah, and uh... Anyway, if you guys don't have any questions, I'd like to thank everyone for joining us today. And uh, I'd like also to like to thank uh, both of our instructors for taking their time and just, you know, sharing their stories and just, you know, what a great way to connect with them and just to get to know them uh, who, you know, who are in, who are the instructors at Lakeland College. And uh, hopefully you guys, you know, got a little bit of who they are. And uh, without any further ado. Thank you, everyone, and we'll see you in a bit. All right, so thank you, Drew. And just as an end note here, just really wanna thank all of you students for looking into your futures and choosing to come to the open house. We know you guys have a lot of options available. We would love it if you chose us here at Lakeland College. As you can see, your instructors are highly involved with the students as well as with industry. We will work our hardest for you if you come to Lakeland College to make sure you have an enjoyable experience, get the technical skills, and have a really fantastic time here with lots of student experiences that you can excel at. So thank you so much for joining us. It was really nice to see you guys on the chat. 
and get to know a little bit more about you guys too and your interests and the questions that you have. So again, Aaron and I have both left our email for students. So if you think of any questions later on today or in the coming weeks, or if you just need some more information to get to specific areas in Lakeland College, not a problem. Send us an email and we can help you out with that. Have a fantastic day and enjoy the rest of the open house. I couldn't have said it better, Angela. Thank you all.